so today we'll be making indian cottage cheese or popularly known in india and most people like it is called paneer so first let's switch on the gas container you can use any container steel i will tell you this is approximately 1.8 liters of milk and let it boil once it boils then i will tell you what's going to happen after that the reason you should make it at home is because when you're out of india as i am uh, making like uh, cottage cheese from or paneer from 2 liters of milk will be around approximately 400 grams of paneer you'll get but if you buy that from any supermarket here especially in netherlands i think it's the same all over the world outside india the price will be approximately in netherlands it's approximately for 400 gram it will be i don't know like five or seven euros something like that but if you buy two liters of milk and you will need some yogurt then it will cost you only i mean like very less like 1.5 or 1.7 euro depending on the type of milk you buy so once you see some bubbles on the surface you will notice it uh, after some time only then you put the yogurt I'll show you so it's like once bubbles start appearing that means it is boiling and once it starts boiling then you put the yogurt so it will start separating the protein from the water and it will result in the formation of your cheese now you can see a lot more bubbles are appearing and there is a layer on the milk this is the sign that it will start to boil rapidly so once it boils rapidly i mean completely it boils you will see the frothiness of the milk rise up rising up then it's the time to put the yogurt as you might notice this is the perfect time milk is swelling up immediately pour in otherwise the milk is going to fall out so once you put the yogurt the reaction starts just remember this time it all froths up swells up entirely boils then you pour in the yogurt and remember both should be in the room temperature so i know based on my previous experiences that i might need even more so that's why i pour in the entire 500 gram yogurt into 1.8 liters of milk and let's see if it is sufficient or not and always remember when you do this protein type of things even with eggs or anything never stir in because this will cause the reaction to slow down so wait a bit it will automatically mix maybe gently do it like this so that it goes on all sides and you will immediately see the reaction so have grab a spoon and then you can see whether it is starting to separate or not I mean the milk the cheese from the milk so it will be the 500 gram will be sufficient but if you see that don't stir in I'm just trying to see whether you see these are the like the separation so slowly you'll see like these granules are like the cheese granules so slowly what will happen I think for 1.8500 gram is sufficient because it has already started separating that's nice but still you need to be careful don't stir in uh, much just see this slowly you will see this water will turn almost like translucent white is transparent something like that from the complete white it will turn little bit transparent so it will be like translucent more towards the transparent side and these granules you will see more granules coming out from the milk and the water will separate from this so you will get the cottage cheese I think this will be su sufficient 
because now I'm starting to see the granules. If you don't see the reaction, then immediately when it is boiling, pour in the. You see now there are these crumbles forming, and slowly the water is turning like transparent, as I mentioned. So you have to pour in more yogurt if you don't see immediately, and don't try to disturb a lot. Just for examining, I did it, but you should not be. And if you don't see these granules, then immediately pour in more yogurt because it needs to speed up the reaction. And you need to be patient, like I mean, like few minutes. Call it translucent or border transparent. The water is almost clear. So these are the curls of cheese. So when you see this state, maybe boil for one more minute or thirty seconds. Don't over boil it. So what happens if you if you see the state exactly like the water is completely i mean like almost clear like muddy white is or something like that little bit white is and almost clear as you can see now and these are the cheese chunks of cheese this is really soft delicate and good to taste because it is made from yogurt and not lemon it has like a milky taste very nice very healthy also rich in protein and always remember once you see the state within 30 seconds or 1 minute switch it off and allow it to be like this for like 1 or 2 minutes more and then we'll give it the shape of the cube or a sphere or what kind of shape you want to give to that large make a huge chunk of the cheese and these are the chunks of cheese and i'll just pour in the entire thing over it so it will drain out the water and the cheese will be left here and if i keep it for one or two hours outside in the room temperature or maybe in the refrigerator on the fridge then you will get a like a spherical ball shape of big piece of cheese from now i am pouring the it's already a lot of water is so water is going to settle and the solid parts will be left in the strainer you can use a cloth if you want this is easier for me you can choose whatever you like oh my god that's a lot of water because it will be like 300 to 400 300 to 350 gram of cheese so first let me dump that in the sink You can see how tender it is. It's really really hot so I cannot hold it for long. But it's super tender. So once it is in the strainer like the bits, it will get the shape. It's super tender. See, that's the result of yogurt and perfect timing and not over boiling it. And you can also taste it if you want. Mm, nice. So after draining all that watery cheese you need to allow it to cool in the room temperature but before that you need to drain out the water like this in a spoon it's a very slow process so as i can see st i am not going to measure it but approximately this will be like 300 or 350 gram of cheese so it depends on your milk and type of yogurt so for my 1.8 liter half skimmed milk I use 500 gram of half skimmed mild yogurt. Just give me this. Playlist. Some bit swift cooking. So that playlist will contain all those fast cooking dishes which you can cook even if you are a student and if you are a walking or anyone who wants to cook fast dishes very simple and elegant way without much ingredient or hassle. I hope you like my video, please consider subscribing.